welcome to bitfumes and this tutorial is very very important because we are now going to start editor data table editor but before moving i want to tell you is that editor data table editor is not free it's having a license version so you need to pay a little amount which is just 119 for a project and that's not a huge amount if you are having or if you are creating a great website so it's good for that but the good point is you can have free trial of 15 days and i'm going to use this free trial to show you because i don't need this data table okay so you just need to log in there and after just log in and obviously creating the account after then you can log in okay then you can download scripts so just download these scripts related to our data table editor and because we don't want this php yajra box is dealing with all these things we just want css and js so download that one so it is downloaded in a zip file so what we need to do yeah it says uh, yeah use these and before moving to that part I can tell you is that we need to install this plugin and again because we have used the Yajra box with full functionality we have already downloaded that which is uh, data table editor uh, it's not there okay oh that's cool but <laughs> I didn't know that so why not that uh, download it okay so that's nice thanks for teaching this okay so let's now download it while it's downloading let's complete the js part so we have downloaded that so go on the download uh, folder copy this editor zip file and this time i'm going to inside the laravel project and inside the public folder paste it and i will just extract it here so after extracting inside this editor we have a js and css so let's copy and paste so just delete these two and now inside css we have lots of css related to editor 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 similarly js editor data table editor editor table editor okay that's enough no problem so let's see and yeah it is done it is installed and now we have the editor okay that was amazing okay so we have done that and the next part we need to do is let's go and now we need to go to the usage part so let's go to uses and it's having lots of thing but i think yeah this one is good tutorial so it says create an app we already done that and we have done all these things we have included the yajra data table editor now we need to create a controller user controller so let's create that so controller is created then we need to create the data table we know that use data table make command users table and then similar to this data table make we now have another command which is called data tables editor obviously this is going to create an editor so inside this app data tables you can see now we have uh, users data table editor this was the old one which i have created mm, this one so let's delete this one and now we have users data table and users data table editor data table editor class is just having this thing protected model which is going to uh, say which model we are going to connect then some of the rules just a native level validation rules rules for editing and rules for remove but what we need to do we need to create a resource route so let's go to web.php file and create a resource route then we need to use these two things inside our uh, controller user controller first is index which is rendering the data table which we just done on the base url but now we are going to use it on uh, user controller so inside user controller we have a index which is rendering the uh, data table and second one which is going to store it whenever we are creating the new one okay then we need to set up the data table so user data table we have created which is this file and inside this it says we need to have data table 
query set row id and add column password to nothing that means we are removing the password so why not copy all of these things and then i will explain you each uh, each of these so copy and here let's paste it okay so yeah i have done that now query as usual it is selecting id name and email only only three fields then html we know html is going to build the data table with some columns which is defined in get columns and here we have id name and email but along with that we have a this one this is saying that we have a checkbox which is going to select any row okay and obviously we don't need need orderable and searching field on this checkbox so that's why then we are using the minified ajax we know that now the important part is we are using parameters of dom bfr tip all these things are your but are the button names then ordering is default ascending select select os and then td is first child that means the first child of td that means uh, td tag of table then we have a uh, three uh, buttons called create edit and remove this is very nice so then we need to set up the editor editor means the user data table editor class here i think we have done uh, it's already done till remove users but now we need to add these two functionality which is for updating and creating so how it's going to create creating the model and model which is user class then we have some array of data which is which we are getting from the data table then decrypting the password and returning it so that we can save it similar to the updating part so these things are done then we we need to work on the view because we are using the editor data table editor we have some editor related js and css so this is js for editor and this one is also for editor these two are for css for editor but because we are going to use the buttons that's why we have some of the data table button related css and js so this is button related css this is button related js so because there are lots of js and css why not copy all these things from here and now i will go on the uh, view and index and what i'm going to do because it's just a file so why not copy all of these things and then i will explain to you okay so we are on the web uh, on the user controller we are returning user.index but we don't have a user.index we have a simple index.blade and it's not inside any folder so index is returning okay so as i have explained you all these uh, things but we have uh, css or js inside directly on the css and js directory so we need we don't need that so once more cut it out yeah it is done so do this yeah okay then we are using data table then table as usual we do we do all these things then in, instead of just directly populating the script we are doing some other things because we are going to edit the data table so these things are related to edit and it says ajax for editing is slash users which is coming from this resource uh, route then we have a table name users display bootstrap that's okay but fields are name email and password three fields then we are saying that whenever we click on the first child then editor dot inline and this this means i this i will show you on the data table so everything is set up let's go here and refresh and what i'm going to do let's go to user i think it's users and it says uh, app uh, http controller user table does not exist okay let's see what happened that is because if we go to user controller and inside that we need to include this here and similarly this here okay once more refresh 
and yeah we have the table and we have all these things just we want but the new things are this so whenever we click it just uh, making it blue and that's because of this thing okay so then we are able to either edit or delete it so first let's try to delete ms maggie is deleted <laughs> and you can see it's not available if i try for adam to edit and i just want to remove the first name update it instantly it is updated and similarly we can create the new fields and this is new just have three columns if we can add one more column let's say uh, like last name last name so refresh and now we have a new field last name super easy things so here we have done then we need to uh, we need to do here also Where is that get columns so obviously we need to populate that columns for the first name then last name these things you can do these things later so in that way you can actually edit but if you want to delete multiple then just press ctrl or command if you are on mac then select multiple and then delete easily simple so these things are very nice with level uh, yajra box data table and the most important thing is the editor data table editor so that's because uh, that's possible because of yajra data table and i just want to thank the person who has created this and if you have liked this episode please go and share this video with your friends if you have not subscribed go and subscribe to this channel for more updates and like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye